Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video, what we're going to see are the different function blocks that we have related to the trigger. So let's go to the application presentation. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to focus only in three different languages, ladder, structure test, and CFC. So if we have the trigger, okay, the trigger function blocks, we can see it as in here, this part of the presentation. The name of the function block start by R or F, if it's R for rise and the other one for fallen. So if we need to see a rise edge when we when we have um, a condition or a variable that goes from zero to one, then we need to use the R trig. And if we have a variable that goes from one to zero, and we want to detect this change of the variable, we need to use the F underscore trig in that case. So as you can see over here, you notice that above the function blocks, we have some question marks. These question marks indicates that that particular block requires an instance. So if we, if this function block requires an instance, we have two options. We can define in the local POU part, okay, as here, as I show you in this part, the name of the variable, and then the type of the variable should be the function block. In this case, these uh, triggers are inside the library standard. So you can use the name of the library, the namespace, dot the name of the function block, or to just use the function block name. And that's all. That is for this particular case. So once you have defined the variable, then you can put that name on the question mark and then you can use the variable, otherwise you're going to receive an error. Then you have one input and one output. The input must be Boolean, so you can use a condition or you can use a variable Boolean in there. And the output will be a Boolean also, just to detect if you have seen that change of state from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0. If you are using the ladder, you also have this possibility to see the positive change or the negative change in the contact. Okay, but that is directly linked to a variable. Okay, this one is for a condition or variable, and this one is only for one particular variable that you have. The if you are using the ladder, okay, you can find this R underscore trig or F underscore trig on the toolbox in the function block area. If you're using the CFC, what you need to do is to drag a box from the toolbox into the area that you're working with and then type R underscore trig or F underscore trig. From the structure test, as you can see over here, the easiest way is to define the name of the instance with the variable type of the trigger that you want and then call the instance. So it's going to be much easier to use. So let's try to create a POU, ladder or CFC. Mm, let's try to use the ladder. So I have already created um, do, 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 this function block, uh, this POU ladder with the one that we were working with so i'm going to add a new run and here i'm going to add right here i'm going to add one of the uh, da, 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 triggers so uh, this one are new function blocks then you can select drag start over here here it asks you for an instance so i recommend you to define the instance Rice, rice is like this. I don't remember. So here you can use the condition or a variable. So uh, if, for example, um, x start 
and then you can use for example this it's not like emergency should see and this one it was already created it's the same as using here then you can see for example let's use this no uh do, 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 do. what can i do so want to count here just to show you um uh, in it so basically what i'm going to do is, instead of using one body we're going to make a condition so if this condition is triggered n times okay then i can make some kind of zoom or something like that so uh let's make uh, art so this art could be enabled each time i use like this we're gonna talk about this later okay uh starts number starts in Okay, so here is my condition. So if this condition goes to zero to one, then it would indicate the rising edge over here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 that is totally different than doing like this. Uh, if you want to use these ones, okay, it would only affect one of the variables. So probably in this case, what you need to do is to copy like this. And then just copy all this, not use this. And here, you can use this one. Okay, that would be another way instead of using this one. Okay, so I'm going to delete this part. Da, 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 da. Did it. I'm going to delete this one also. So every time I change the status of the condition, it will add one to this number. So if we connect, login with the load. At there we go so right now it's in zero if i press this one in true from zero to one okay this one is not going to be always in true okay so the chance one time As you can see it's added one so i'm going to for example i'm going to put this one this and start again it's gonna be true now this one no i don't want to change this one i'm going to change the emergency true see no changes now if i put this one back then you can see this counter tree so this is how you can use the trigger or the rise trigger or the fallen trigger that we have in the software what I want to show you now, if we go back to the presentation, just go back. So we have already seen this part and this one. I want to show you this function block link, a video already mentioned before, but I'm going to use it on the um, error tree with the ST. And try to trace this one. So. Uh, da, 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 da. I believe this part another is already finished. So I'm going to add here uh detect change. This one is gonna be R3. Okay, and I'm going to add um for example clock square 
signal okay it's gonna be the blink function block so what i'm going to do now is to use the input assistant call the do, 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 where is the blink here the square signal which is a blink that's why it's important not to define like this just for example use inst blink something rather than this so this one is going to be always in true at the time i'm going to define by mm, second yes it's gonna be timer for one sec no milliseconds so i generate a square scene out of the period of one second milliseconds okay and then what i'm going to do is to use the art trick detect change to use the output of the square signal dot out and then i'm going to use the detect change to increment something so uh, if detect change dot q is true there's no need to do something on here because this is the condition when it's true then i have um amount of changes Amount of changes plus one. Amount. I read it wrong. This one is going to integer changes. So define it and put it over here. So based on the square signal, just delete all this. So based on the amount of a square signal that I have, okay, the idea is to detect the positive change. So I'm going to detect this pulse over here, this pulse, this pulse, this pulse, and then the if will check this value, and then it will add one to the value. So one, two, three, four. No, I got it wrong. This one rising edge so this one's no let me just do it again and explain well so this is a core signal imagine that it's a square and the r tree will detect the positive change like this so at the output of the trigger i will have this pulse And then on each cycle of the if condition, I'm going to add one. So the value will be incremented. That's the idea. So um, we are going to try to do this, okay, in a trace. That's the main goal. So if we go back here, uh, yeah, it's doing that. If I'm wrong. So we can create a trace tools say the project just in case uh, option trace trace uh, this one is three years add configuration we need to associate the this to the mast there uh, this one's going to be fix to this one is the square signal shown add variable here i need to select the instance of the the blink the output the, the, the blink, 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 square signal blink out okay now i'm going to add another um, to see the the pulses okay trigger pulses show variable and your variable uh r3 should be over here take change q 
then the last one diagram should be this one gonna be auto description to be counter changes so option variable a new variable and here i need to call this high amount of changes okay good so now let's compile and see if there is any errors no errors at all uh, I believe nothing is missing okay connect okay login okay you can see here that this one is sending pulses and it's counting so if I download this trace you can see the pulses and how it's incrementing the value okay so this is the main goal okay so if i stop the trace and increment this part cursor over here you can see that when it's changed from zero to one it activated the trigger and then it's just add one to the value that they have and it's the same behavior in each part of the cycle so this is how it works with the um triggers that we have so i really want to show you the main idea on how to use the trigger in this part you can so it's simple um you can use a ladder or cfc or a structure test it's the same it probably changed the way you need to pull the logic but it's the same and simple so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one